Hello my foodie buddies. I am nutritionist Prachi here to tell you some amazing facts about foods. I will be discussing some unsung heroes of the food. You know food has always surprised me. It's difficult to understand but must to be known treasure. So, let us learn different foods and different nutrients that it contains. So, let's have this journey together. The first food that I've chosen is considered as queen of all seeds. It's eaten specially during winters. During Makar Sankranti, Lori are the few festivals to name. You got me right. It's sesame seeds or til seeds. It's considered as queen of all seeds because it has high degree of resistance to oxidation and rancidity. Has a high warming capacity for which Ayurveda has also prized sesame seeds. It is associated with longevity and prosperity in religious laws. So let us quickly get to the point the nutrients that sesame seeds has. It's rich in plenty of nutrients. To start with uh, fibers, proteins, healthy fats, vitamin E, antioxidants, selenium, copper, calcium, iron, zinc, magnesium. But apart from all these nutrients, there are three important points which I want you all to remember. Or we can call them as some exclusive properties that system state contains. So let us learn these three takeaway points which I feel are highly important as far as CCM seeds are concerned. So CCM seeds are considered as functional foods because it contains bioactive compounds. It contains cisamine, cisamoline, cisaminol and cisamolinol. They affect the lipid metabolism and have anti-cancer and anti-hypotensive properties. So as the name itself says, they can be used in the treatment of or in prevention of hypertension and cancer. Of course, this is not the sole food which can be consumed. But apart from other nutrients that you have been consuming, incorporation of sesame seeds will definitely help in giving you the best results. Secondly, uh, these seeds contain pinoresinol compound which inhibits the function of maltase enzyme okay so um, this maltase enzyme what does it do it helps in the conversion of maltose to glucose okay maltose is um, present in many of the foods as an artificial sweetener or whenever we eat any starchy food like bread or pasta this is produced in the gut as well and what happens whenever we need energy, this maltose is, get, uh, maltose is converting into glucose. In terms, it can provide us the energy. Okay. So, by inhibiting the action of maltase by pinoresinol, it can help in regulating the blood sugar levels. Okay. And third point, which I feel is equally important is it contains very good amount of calcium. So particularly women who are post menopausal or who are at risk of osteoporosis or knee pain or joint pain or muscle pain must consume sesame seeds regularly so that all these symptoms will disappear. Okay. And as I said, this is not the only thing which has to be consumed, but incorporation in these seeds into your daily diet in different forms, in different ways, in different dishes will definitely help you in uplifting your nutritional status. So how much the sesame, should, sesame seeds should be consumed? One teaspoon per day is enough to fulfill the requirement in any form, in form of raw, roasted, powder form, oil form, anything. And you don't need to prepare a special dish for it. Anything that you prepare in your, in your day to day life can very easily accommodate these seeds. And I would recommend to consume black sesame seeds over white sesame seeds because they are crunchier in taste. They have good flavor and more importantly, they are high in fiber. So what are you waiting for? Make this sesame seeds your BFF this winter. Thank you so much.